Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Paul Zalzal. And I'm Dr. Brad Weening. Thanks for answering uh, my call, Dr. Weening. Um, we have a guest today. Okay, is it, uh, is it Premier Ford? No, it is not Premier Ford, the Premier of our province. Okay, is it the stunt double from Cocktail teaching us how to make drinks at home? No, but that would be a good guess. Guess again. Okay, last one, the guy that played Benjamin Button. You got it. That's who it is. He's aging backwards. Okay, okay nice. Now, today our guest is uh, Dr. Nicole Didick. She is a geriatrician in Ontario, and uh, she actually has her own YouTube channel called The Wrinkle, where she gives a lot of useful information, so I encourage our viewers to check that out. Uh, let's get her on the phone here. Dr. Didick, are you there? Welcome, Dr. Didick. Hello. I'm here. Hi. Thank you. Thanks for the invite. I'm a big fan of talking with docs, support. by the way. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. Dr. Didick. Can you please tell us just a little bit about yourself for our viewers? Sure. So I'm a geriatrician, uh, which means I'm a medical doctor. I'm an internist, and I specialize in the care of older adults. So um, most of my patients are over the age of 65, or they are physiologically over the age of 65, and they have some of the syndromes uh, that you often see that are associated with aging. And mm -hmm. um, can you please just share with us, what do you want to talk about today? Well, you know, the interesting thing is that, um, and like you, uh, Brad and Paul, our, my practice has changed so much in the last couple of months uh, because of COVID. And, you know, geriatric care is usually more um, like chronic disease management, and it's not really critical care or ICU type of care. But since COVID hit, I've been really busy. But what I'm doing is not looking after people who have uh, COVID and are in the ICU, but I'm looking after what I would call the people who have NOVID. NOVID. What is NOVID? No, I like it have though. Have you heard that term? So NOVID. NOVID. Okay, so NOVID is, it was actually coined by a family doctor friend of mine, Dr. Sharon Ball, but it's what we're trying to do in geriatrics. So we're trying to look after people who don't have COVID, but they have chronic diseases that sort of need to be tended and need to be managed all the time. Whether there's a global pandemic or not, um, these diseases don't sleep. You know, they're like rust. They never sleep. So you've got to um, you've got to look after those people. So I've been working really hard doing a lot of virtual care and trying to help people to manage their chronic diseases so they don't flare up. Novid, yes. yes. They have Novid. They, yeah, they have Novid. So they don't have COVID, but they have other things that and need to be And what we've seen with the, with the virus um, too is that because, they're so susceptible, whether it was yeah. in Italy where a large older population suffered yeah. and then here in Ontario, the long-term care homes are being hit very, very mm -hmm. hard right now and a big focus for us. Yeah, that's true. And so that's a lot that of the work. Is. We're trying to do that too, is reach out and kind of collaborate with the doctors who are going into long-term care um, or the other people who are there, like the nurses and PSWs. So I'm on the phone a lot with uh, the frontline workers in those settings to try to see what I can do, what advice I can give to help the person to stay well in that home and not go to the eMERGE, because that's the last place we want people to go, um, unless they okay. need to. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk a bit about what's going on in the long-term care centers, because I think our yeah. viewers would be interested in that. And I was, I was at a, a hospital meeting the other day, and um, mm -hmm. we were talking about, you know, gradually, when we're going to gradually open things up again for elective surgery and that. And we were mm -hmm. saying, you know, before COVID came, we were preparing for it. And we sent a lot of these elderly pa patients with chronic conditions that were occupying hospital beds. We sent them out of the hospital to different places like long-term care centers to yeah. prepare for a big spike of COVID patients. We looked in front of us, there was no big spike of COVID patients coming in, luckily in our area, not a huge spike. That's but now good. we got to keep those beds available to bring back those patients from the long-term care centers who have COVID. Yeah. 